Hi, Fargo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who is your perfect match. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 29th of May, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 11.20. Wait a minute. 11... 32 p.m. <laughs> Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn who is their perfect match. Now this person can be somebody that you've already known be one of your options if you're single right now you're not currently connected with anybody this could be your perfect match coming into your life okay wow <laughs> queen of wands at the bottom of the deck I'm saying wow because the tower, the tower means everything that you've known before, what you are mm, familiar with, all of that, it's the opposite. That means your perfect match, your perfect match is going to be somebody whom is completely, completely different and opposite from either your usual type or what you've been familiar with, okay? So your perfect match is going to be that one person whom possibly, again, someone who is coming in you, if you're currently not connected with someone or somebody you could be currently connected with. But this is someone feels like the universe is trying to say that whoever you've been with and if things didn't work out, if it didn't feel right, because that's because you went for somebody that was not right for you and you should be going for somebody who is completely the opposite of your usual type you know the people that you are normally attracted to that's definitely what i'm seeing here with the tower eight of wands somebody who speaks your love language you know eight of wands is that energy where somebody speaks um, it's communication actually um, swift communication passionate communication somebody very very passionate somebody who has the same passion as you do but somebody who speaks i get this like somebody who says the right thing as in somebody who is not harsh i don't think i think most of you um earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn i don't think you can i wouldn't say deal but People need to be very tactful when they talk to you. Um, it has to resonate with you. It has to touch your heart in some way, shape, or form. So I feel like your perfect match would be somebody who is very good at communication, very good at articulating it to you, very good at articulating their feelings for you. But somebody who says things that, again, that resonates with you, that touches your heart, Somebody very passionate about you. Okay. And Eight of Wands. Also, it's a movement card. Three of Wands here is in what first. Let me see. Either, for some of you, if you haven't met your perfect match yet, you will meet this person, but very, very unexpectedly, right? And the tower, I do read it as a divine intervention energy sometimes. So, maybe... The universe will interfere. This is an interference, obviously, right? If you look at the um, lightning, it's striking the tower. So something is going to interfere. The universe is going to interfere with whatever you, you have right now or somebody from your past or your usual type. Interfere in a sense like a cupid strike kind of thing hope that makes sense to you like cupid cupid 
striking the arrow uh, unexpectedly it's almost like you and this person is supposed to cross path and unexpectedly meeting each other right so that's what i'm seeing here your perfect match is someone with a full game of verse um whom doesn't take unnecessarily unnecessary crazy risks that's what i'm seeing see the tower is the last card that means everything here needs to be demolished everything here needs to be destroyed so this is definitely someone whom so all these cards even though in reverse in my mind right now it's supposed to be in an upright i mean it was in an upright and now it needs to be in reverse hope that makes sense to you but anyway i will explain <laughs> nine of wands in reverse someone someone whom is open to love willing to put their guards down someone i feel that you're gonna feel safe with that you don't have to constantly feel like you need to have your guards up okay somebody who would take risks with you um don't mind taking risks with you especially for those who come with certain baggages could be in a form of divorce children or illness any anything okay and just accept you for who you are but not somebody you know, the full universe is like not safe, risky behavior, but definitely not somebody who has risky behavior, like who is risky, who takes risks, okay? <laughs> Three of Cups here is in reverse. Somebody who doesn't party too much, doesn't drink too much. The Four Souls here in reverse. Somebody who is at peace with who they are, who, uh, someone who is being themselves. Queen of Cups here is in reverse. Somebody emotionally uh, available somebody sensitive to you to your needs this person could be a Pisces or Scorpio now I've got the eight of swords here in my verse yeah it's, it feels like no stress that's what I'm hearing no stress no worries someone who is like just happy-go-lucky when they speak, it's just nice. How do you say? So some of you, maybe this person has a very nice, soothing voice. Somebody non-confrontational, okay? Somebody who doesn't put you in a third party situation. Somebody who is completely, completely focused, okay? Again, this person could be an Aries, Pisces, can Scorpio, can be an, another Aries, Scorpio. Again, I'm seeing... Can be any sign, let's see more. Could be fire as well, but doesn't matter. We all have many, many signs in our chart. In our charts. But um Empress in reverse, Queen of Wands, King of Cups. See somebody emotionally available. Page of Wands here is in reverse. Somebody who's gonna stick around, decides to stick around or to travel towards you. Or have you traveled with them? But it could also mean what I'm seeing here. Also, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Maybe your perfect match would be someone. Would be someone who is again willing to relocate for you if this is a long distance connection, or someone where you're going to be spending most of your time at like a certain location for example you live in okay i i live right now i live in bali indonesia i'm gonna move right <laughs> you've been following me my instagram my my other channel my travel channel you go, you know that i always move around every month so for some of you it's you needing to meet someone where that person literally lives at where you're um, it's like breaking this mold here with the tower, breaking the mold of how it should be easy. Like maybe it was very difficult, very challenging in the past or whoever you could be currently connected with. But it feels like Spirit could be saying your perfect match is somebody who is easy to connect with, easy to speak with somebody emotionally available emotionally stable someone who is gonna adore you obviously with the queen of wands 
also accept that um accept your, your weaknesses and your strengths which i feel like your strength would be just how driven you are how ambitious you are and also you're very attractive and someone who can deal with a strong personality that's what i'm seeing here was okay with like okay i'm gonna let virgo taurus and capron do his or her own thing and say whatever they want to say because it's not you know you're an earth sign so you're gonna be most likely reasonable and we've got the world here it's like closing an old chapter and starting a new chapter i'm just giving another example if you're somebody who likes to travel doesn't really like to stick around doesn't really want to permanently live at one place perhaps you your perfect match will be somebody who would be living the same lifestyle as you do right like traveling around if you're the type of person who prefers to stay put in your country or in a certain city so your perfect match would be somebody who's actually there already with you who is permanently going to be living there um at the place that you're staying it could be so something about geography here okay so you've got the ace of pentacles someone who's going to offer you something very substantial uh, it looks very promising you do have um your perfect match coming in for those of you who are single i see this person a uh, very strong fire uh not fire some of them is fire but because we've got page of wands here one verse maybe they have fire a little bit here and there in the chart but majority i mean the big sign would be a pisces cancer or a scorpio okay mm. you see the king of cups is so focused because he's sitting down and with ace of pentacles right next to him it doesn't matter he or she not gender specific but someone who has money stability who's just gonna have their eyes on you you but nobody else because the world is just focused in one person someone's gonna lift you up not bring you down because she's up in the air right up in the sky somebody who can deal with you two of pentacles your ups and downs especially if you're a female and you go through some if you have some anxiety issues or it could be depression it could be um pre-menstrual symptoms <laughs> it could be anything or that you being somebody very capable or that you could be juggling many things you may have a lot on your plate somebody who is going to be understanding of that but also at the same time respect you and look up to you for who you are what you're capable of doing so it feels like someone who's just gonna watch you from the sideline and just support you in the in the background okay because especially if you're embodying the queen of wands where if you are in the public eye or if you're somebody very very attractive but you need someone whom is very very secure with you um with your success especially with your success or with your ambition your goals your popularity okay see there's someone here very unexpectedly with the tower if you haven't met this person yet it feels like you're going to be meeting this person it's going to change your world uh your life is going to change you're going to close out this old chapter and this new chapter is going to begin some of you maybe this is someone whom is already in your life all right mm. All right, take care. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And if you'd like to be notified every time when I go live or post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.